Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of Eye of the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, King Dia, Lord Frey, Grim Clover, Internet, Bloodsports, and the City of Steel, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. So, Splatoon 3 is out, we know a little bit more about, like, the world, the story, and the characters, and, uh, I do think there's, um, there's an interesting thing we really need to do a, a brief retrospective on, something I made fun of when it became an issue, uh, something that Nintendo themselves had to come out and discredit. Uh, things that became kind of a meme in the community, something that's like mocked and derided on 4chan and other reliable outlets. Uh, the narrative being that shiver of a uh, deep cut is trans or non-binary. Now, I don't know why it's like those two things specifically. I think what happened is that initially the character was like claimed to be non-binary and then they switched to trans when Nintendo, uh, when Nintendo disputed the claim. But like what... What seems to have happened is that, like, the trans community tried to adopt another character, Shiver, and uh, they tried to, like, put this label on her, like, non-binary, and, like, tried to make it into a meme and tried to, like, pressure Nintendo into, like, making it happen. Uh, just like they did with Juniper, just like they've done with, like, uh, Bridget and stuff like that. Like, trying to, like, force a label onto a fictional character in order to, like, make their own lifestyle seem, like, more mainstream, cool, and acceptable. And uh, this is actually very interesting to me because uh, Shiver, out of all the members of Deep Cut, is the one that, like, I would I would say, like, is least likely to be trans because, like, you can't, like, really make out anything when it comes to Big Man. He's just a big manta ray, right? Like, and you have, like, Fry, who's ugly as sin. Um, so, yeah, if, like, you told me, like, Fry was, like, a man at one point, I would have just been like, oh, yeah, fine. Yeah, she's ugly as fuck. That explains it. But Shiver the most conventionally femininely attractive of the three, right? That's the one that got the trans label. That's the one that was declared non-binary. That was the one they latched onto. And that's very, very interesting to me because it kind of made me realize there was like a pattern here is that they take characters that are like seen as like feminine and attractive and kind of like throw this, throw these ridiculous labels at them, all right? Like uh, we saw it with Bridget, right which is uh which is you know a thing uh you we saw it with juniper who has like an in-universe thing with like kite and stuff like that like she's very clearly female but uh the narrative was that she's just not binary and now we have shiver you know like out of all the members of deep cut like in that reveal trailer like she was the one labeled trans she was the one enabled non-binary, despite, like, the very obvious, like, feminine hips and, like, the, the feminine design and, like, just, just the personality and just, like, basically everything about her. Trans, non-binary. Like, it was, uh, it was absurd. It was ridiculous. And um, I think people kind of latched onto that, like, immediately. Like, people, a lot of people I saw, like, there was a very, very strong backlash to the idea because it was just so absurdly, just so absurd, right, that they would seriously try and pull the stunt. Um, it, it feels like they have to latch on to, like, these more feminine character designs in order to, like, more effectively push their narrative, right? Because if Fry, who was initially, like, very unpopular became like the trans icon like people would have made fun of that like oh yeah she's ugly because she's trans like they, they can't do that they can't have that it's uh it's not allowed so like i i think like noticing these kind of things and pointing them out is going to be like a big part of how like we dismantle the trans community and the narrative they built up over the past couple of years i i do think like calling this stuff out is is important and we uh, should continue discussing it in the future